Hey viewers, welcome to Heat 4 of the Rogue Wars Lego Pop Wars Summer League, the final qualifying heat. Now, you may have noticed that I've decorated the arena with some new stickers, just as I thought the other ones were um, lightening up a bit for sitting here so long, so I thought I'll get some new ones put on. There's some more around here, but we won't focus on that, we'll focus on the action. In Heat 4, our first duo melee with Fluffy, a robot with a propeller at the back. It used to be at the front, but we switched it. And uh, it also works upside down as well. Good. Furby, this robot needs no explanation. It's completely mad. <laughs> Haven't seen a robot as mad as this since, uh, you know, Destructor Bubble or Robo Chicken or even Psycho Sprout. It's very odd a robot looks retired like that, or Robo Chicken is pretty good. And there's Loco, who, um, I think it was series, episode Heat 3 they entered, and they went out in the first round to panic attack, so see how if they can do any better here. Now I also want to say Matilda has um, had the flywheel, she no longer has the flywheel, she has a chainsaw back because, as you may remember from Heat 3, it fell off in um, the Heat final, so we put the chainsaw back on just so she does have something sticking out of her rear end. Even though that's not what people want. <laughs> oh dear, I really should fire Bob. Three, two, one, activate. Fluffy looks a bit awkward, really, with the blade at the back. I always think it looks better. And also, because it looks a bit limp as well, forcing itself away. Now, Fluffy tries to build up a steam. It's got flap at the front to push. And Furby has gone into the clutches of Sir Killalot. But Lance comes in and lifts the Furby up. In comes Shunt. Brushing away. Loco! Loco topples itself onto the pit. In comes Fluffy. Tries to push. And out goes Loco. Staring up at me. Get off of it, please. So, Fluffy and Furby, the two Fs, go on. Oops. And so, on to, on to Eliminator 2, starring Ming 4, a green wedge on wheels with, um, no, well, wheel features. It has some wonderful decorations with pen. And, um, that big thing on top is actually the radio receiver. So, um, sorry about that. Um, and it's, um, it's a good robot, really. There's Techno Trousers, virtually unchanged from its appearance in C Heat 2. It could do well here, I have a sneaky suspicion it'll do well. And that's Exterminator with that mighty axe there. Let's have a look at it. Oh, sorry. Um, and there it is. Oh, falls down already. <laughs> Don't waste it, guys. Save it for a target. Like your opponents, which you can do now in three, two, one, activate. Now you can strike your opponents, just sort of on there. Oh, and hacking it, and this is like that. And now, oh, having a go and shunt. <laughs> and it's the battle of the axes here as Ming 4 slamming exterminator into the CPZ. And the two axes exchange blows. Exterminator caught up there in slams. I mean, four and somehow tries to topple them over because tries to push. Tight techno trousers stays out of the action rather wisely, I think. And now slamming exterminator out. It comes to kill a lot. A very dominant force in this series. And now techno trousers in underneath. An exterminator. A lot of people's favourites to win this heat are in massive trouble. And up and over. Flipped over by Killalot. Now Killalot coming in on Techno Trousers. Pushing him over. And now Techno Trousers is caught in Killalot CPZ. But I don't think it will matter. As Exterminator is about to go down the pit. Pushed on by Ming 4. That's a bit far. Let's take it a bit further back. Oh! Exterminator plopped and in. Exterminator is out. There's the axe again. Oh, not again. Wish I'd stop doing that. And Techno Trousers, despite being upside down and on its back, is through. Maybe Killot's trying to help him out, I wonder. Mm. 
Oh, oh can you see you are helping someone? <laughs> oh. What is this? That's all for part one. Help us to find part two and see the semi-finals and the heat final. See you then!